It's time for The Local with your host and realtor, Katie McKinney. Welcome to The Local with Katie McKinney. Hey guys, it's Katie. I just wanted to say um, we're super excited to have Katie Shirley on. She is the marketing coordinator at the High Plains Technology Center here in Woodward. Katie, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. This is a nice treat. Yes, we're, we're excited. Is this the first podcast you've been on? Yes. Oh, yes. yes that's awesome. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So obviously, I know you. We've, we've known each other a couple of years now. Yeah. I met Katie whenever I moved to Woodward. And not only was she very welcoming, she's been a great uh, business mentor, friend. And I just, I really appreciate her. So I thought, why not have her on? She's yes. got a lot of value to add. I was excited when you asked. Me. Well, thanks. <laughs> so I know a little bit about you, but please um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from and how did you get to Woodward? Okay. So um, I grew up in the country near May, Oklahoma. So, um, and then we moved to Woodward around middle school. And then I always attended Woodward schools. Um, so basically I'm from here, been here. Um, I did leave and went to UCO um, okay. for college after high school. And then Came back and finished my degree at Northwestern here in Woodward. Um, and then I got married to my high school sweetheart, Luke Shirley. And we have an eight-year-old daughter and a four-year-old son. So like you said, I'm the marketing coordinator at High Plains. And then I'm also the vice president slash CFO for Three Resources, Inc., which is an oil field service company. My husband started about five years ago. And then I also get to help coordinate the Tri-State tri Oil and Gas Convention that is held every August here in Woodward at the Conference Center. She's a busy woman. Yes. <laughs> kind of a workaholic a little bit. Yeah, but. well, and that's what I, I just, I love that she always incorporates family into her busy lifestyle. Yes. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But, uh, you know, obviously we want to talk about her marketing coordinator position at High Plains Tech uh, Center, but also that um, Tri-State Oil and Gas um, Convention, it is a huge event. Yes. Um, so this August is going to be the ninth annual show. Um, and it's really has grown every year. Um, we get a few more. We all we, we've maxed out on our um, exhibit space. You know, a couple of years when the oil fields a little better, mm -hmm. um, and so we we fill as many as we can. But the uh, number of people that attend is growing, so that's, that's good. Awesome. I think we had around six hundred last year. Wow! Um, and then we also have the Bobby Joe Cud Golf Tournament the yes. day that follows the show, okay. and that is one of the I might be the largest golf tournament around this wow. area yeah um and we always sell out with probably oh uh, 60 to 70 golf teams so oh, we have two wow. flights so yeah so yeah it's really um I can't believe nine years is gone um yes so we're getting it smoothed out with the, <laughs> yeah. you know getting things figured out yes but, well yes. that's that's awesome and I'm happy that you came back uh, home too I'm sure you are as well yes that's neat that you did get some experience at U UCO and mm -hmm. then you're able to finish here what was your degree in if you don't mind me asking um business administration and then HR was was, um, my minor and so I knew um, so my husband like I said we yes. were um, dated since we were about 16 and a half so oh. <laughs> I went to UCO for the college experience but you know we as time went mm -hmm. I knew you yeah. know like I was driving home a lot yes. so it was really awesome to have Northwestern here yeah. in Woodward and finish it at home um, so business administration is what I just I knew I would be working in Woodward and the yes. most like broad degree to get so um and then I always had my eyes on High Plains. It's mm -hmm. my dream mm -hmm. job. And it is, I mean, one of, I would say, the best place to work in Woodward. That's so awesome. um, dream come true. That's, yeah. yeah, that's amazing. And for people that don't know, um, High Plains Technology Center, what is the High Plains Technology Center? So High Plains Technology Center is a technology center um, that is a part of the career tech education system. Okay. And so formerly used to be called the Votech. Yes. And so a lot of people still call still it. Still call it the Votech, yep. Yes, which we're still working on, you know, trying to correct that. Yeah, but rebranding and yes. takes a while. Yeah. Yes. One of our slogans is um, not your grandpa's Votech. You know, so. <laughs> That's good. That's um, good. And so our school here in Woodward was mm -hmm. voted in in 1981 by the people, um, an electorate. 
And then in 1982 was when we began actually training um, people. Wow. And I think the very first building was on Main Street. Okay. And then when maybe in the basement of the hospital. So okay. kind of, you know, um, and then they built our school where we are now, I mm-hmm. believe, in 1983. Okay. So there are 29 um, technology centers across the state. It's a lot. So, yes. We're, Oklahoma is very well known yes. for their Yes. Our um, career tech system is one of the best, you mm-hmm. know, out there in the nation. So yeah. it's um, neat to have the 29 all together because we always have meetings mm-hmm. with each other and we all share, you know, best practices. Yes. And um, so it's a really good network. Um, and then we have seven sending schools that are a part of High Plains. So it's not just Woodward that attends, but we have um, Buffalo, Fargo, Gage, mm-hmm. Port Supply, Moreland, Sherry Mutual, and Visite and Woodward. Wow. So those are our sending schools that we um, students come to Woodward. And mm-hmm. then we, we have a few like from Leedy and Laverne and wow. Shattuck mm-hmm. that will come in through a scholarship. So that's pretty neat. That is, you're touching a lot of lives there. Seems yes. like reaching pretty far. Yes. There's not many places that have that many different schools that they, they right. help and students that they service. So Yes. We um, love we love our sending schools, you know, and we love Woodward, but we also and mm-hmm. um we also it doesn't mean like if we have a workshop or a training, someone right. that's not from those towns mm-hmm. can come but they do have to pay double the right. um tuition or mm-hmm. whatnot since, you know, we have to take care of our sending schools first of course yeah um and then so we have the daytime programs mm-hmm. that juniors and seniors attend and then also we have um full-time training for adults or part-time okay. training and then um we have our business and industry services area which a lot of people may not realize is out there and that's the division that does your oil and gas training yeah. and our wind mm-hmm. um, which is huge it we, is we just finished um the best year we've ever had in um, amounts of trainings mm-hmm. in the wind industry mm-hmm. and so that's really growing um and then also we have a business and entrepreneurial mm-hmm. service which i'll talk about it in a little bit yeah um but also so the besides the juniors and seniors and um, we just implemented a couple years ago a very innovative program um the first of its kind in the state so um groundbreaking is called our it's our tap program which stands for technical applications program Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that is where we're having sixth graders Mm -hmm. all the way up to sophomores they um go to woodward middle school we are in the old technology area there and we've taken over that area and so we still have five size students coming you know we still have some of our sending school kids come to you know the middle school and they'll be in tap right and then now up at the main school we have our sophomores out there wow um so what they do is they spend about you know 15 days or they break it up throughout the year and they study a little bit of all of our daytime programs oh wow so this is sparking an interest pretty early to Mm -hmm. get them an idea of what career they may be interested in and then go ahead and getting them on that path Mm -hmm. pretty soon that's neat. And I, Mr. Holt, I believe, um, he had talked to our Rotary program. Yes. It's been about a year or so ago. And he talked about the things that you may learn through mm-hmm. that TAP program. He was talking about balancing a checkbook. Yes. Uh, changing, changing a, a tire. tire. Yeah. I'm like, this would have been amazing. And we had, you know, ag um, mm-hmm. in um, high school. And there was another class. I can't remember. It's been too long. But it was, you know, it started learning a little bit more life about skills. Your life skills and that sort of thing. Of course, you have, um, um, ec- what is it home called? Ec- home ec, yes. yes. That's what my mom taught for yes. 30 years. Yeah, but, but there's no those... tire changing. No. <laughs> or balancing a checkbook that yeah. I remember. It was more of the sewing, the cooking. The mm-hmm. They do a lot, of course, now. But um, I just thought it was fascinating. He gave us the whole rundown of what yeah. they do. I'm like, oh, there's so many kids that would love that, students yeah. that would love that. Even I would love to take something like that, uh, and I would have loved to early on. Yes. So you know what sparks your interest. Yes, especially for, say, the student that may not, athletics is not like their, yeah. you know, their skill set or gift. Mm-hmm. Um, this kind of inspires them to see that they do have, you know, something that, like, so tap is sometimes the sport for mm-hmm. some of these kids. So That's neat. They found, them, their, they found their passion, hopefully, or yes. at least a, a, an inkling of what they may like uh, in the future, for yeah. sure, rather than just, like you said, if they're not, if they're not in athletics or maybe if they're not in band either, mm-hmm. you know, 
um, I do feel like there's wh- quite a few students that would benefit from that. Yes. Um, even when I was student teaching at Woodward High School, mm-hmm. most people don't know that I did, but yeah. uh, that was part of my degree at OSU. Um, and I, I do feel like that would have benefited a lot of people because not everybody needs to go to a traditional four-year college. Right. Um, and I'm happy that the teachers and the High Plains uh, Tech Center and all the tech centers around are really they're not discouraging people from going to the traditional four year. Right. But they're saying opening up yes, that there's other options. Here's too. another option. Mm-hmm. Just in case, you know, maybe that doesn't uh, you know, fit what you are right. looking for. So you talked about the wind um energy. Mm-hmm. Wind what do you call what's it called exactly? Um so our it's wind technician, wind technician. program okay. is is our specific program in wind, but then also we just we have a whole energy training center where we're having people come all the way, I mean from all across the country, mm-hmm. even other um countries come to our facility and take it's GWO is a it's called Global Wind Organization and in that we are certified a certified training provider for that. So it's globally recognized and we're the only ones in Oklahoma. So that's why we're having so many um, outside companies, Mm -hmm. you Mm -hmm. know, Airway or whatnot, they come here and they'll spend a whole week or more, you know, refreshing Mm -hmm. or going through the training. So it's not just our WinTech students, which we have that program goes twice a year. Right. Um, So we just started the latest class on the second and we have 14 students. Wow. And so um, we also are having all these companies come in for the wind training. Right here in Woodward. Yes. Right here in Woodward, which is super exciting. Yes. Um, As you can see and as you can hear, I'm sure there are so many different things that we have here at High Plains Tech Center um, in Woodward. Mm -hmm. And it does have the sending schools. You call it sending schools. Uh So um, you said nine of those, right? Um, Um, There are six now. Six. Okay, six now. That's that's a lot. Yeah. Um, That is a lot of, of different schools that are involved in uh, students' lives that you're changing. So that's that's pretty neat. Um, can you tell us a little bit, I know we've talked about the wind energy, the TAP program, um, and o- the oil and gas mm-hmm. kind of that you've got there. What other, you know, is there nursing? Um, what other kind of? Yes. So there's practical nursing. Practical nursing. Okay. It's a program that you could take to become a licensed practical nurse. Mm-hmm. And so we have that going on right now with some student with I believe we've got 14 in there right now mm-hmm. and then um so and then our daytime programs we've got auto business administration and graphic design construction health careers marketing management diesel technology multimedia and then service careers and welding wow so we've got those and those are the ones that which tap actually they cover All of those plus a little bit of the nursing and wind. Okay. Like they'll come out to the campus and Mm -hmm. tour the program. And they have a lot of guest speakers also um, uh, that are out in the actual industry. Mm -hmm. So, um, yep, those are the daytime, all the trainings that we have. And then we have the short-term classes, Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. which Tammy Kelm is in charge of all of that. Okay. And so those are the classes you're going to see us having in the evenings, mm-hmm. like Microsoft Excel, and we've got PowerPoint, and we have, like, career welding. So um, it's in the evening, mm-hmm. furniture, construction, you name it. We have and Spanish. Yes, Spanish. Spanish and just Books. started last night, I believe, with Spanish for health care providers, oh, law wow. enforcement, and um, emergency personnel. That's so we're really, really customizing, like, all the way down to yeah. um, that profession to help them in their situation so that's been pretty neat oh yeah so yeah we have those trainings and then something else that um I'm pretty passionate about because this is what I did um so I was in marketing right when I started at High Plains for three years Mm -hmm. as marketing coordinator Mm -hmm. and then once my husband and I started the business um they moved me over into this role called business and entrepreneurial service coordinator. <laughs> That's quite yes. a name. Did yes. they make that up for you? Yes. <laughs> B- BES. That's awesome. So, so what, and now the, um, the person that took is in that place when I switch back over to marketing mm-hmm. um, is Andrew Smith. And then, a little bit. Yes. Well, and even, you know, from our point of view as, as a real estate agent, you know, if we've got a commercial 
building and business that is available, I send a lot of people yes. their way because I say, if you want to look at, you know, profit and loss statements mm-hmm. together with someone else that can yes. be a, a great advisor, or maybe you need some financing, uh, you know, recommendations or something like that. Um, I always send them uh, to, to yes. their way because I mean, it's just, it does, it takes a lot of time for, you know, for me to sit down with them and I'm so happy to do it. But I think that it's also nice to see from an outside perspective, yeah. somebody that has nothing to do with the transaction yes. um, and, and not have an opinion on on value, mm-hmm. a, a predetermined opinion, whether it be about the building or the business. Um, I think it's always good to get several different perspectives. Yeah. And especially if it's at no cost, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you, in my opinion? For sure. So, yeah. Yeah. And so that's what they can help them all the way um, at the beginning if they're wanting to go get a business plan, mm-hmm. like help We have a lot of lenders Mm -hmm. send people our way, you know, like you need to go see these gals first and Mm -hmm. kind of go through your numbers, make sure, you know, do some projections Mm -hmm. so we can help them get that ready all the way to as I think before you've sent people that are ready to close or sell their business. Mm -hmm. um, Then we can help them through all that area, too. So daunting. it could be daunting. You need you need someone a professional to help you through, especially if you've got two that are um, or more than two. I know there's a whole group of people that are uh, able to help, but two that are dedicated to Mm -hmm. that. So I, I absolutely love that. Um, and then you did, you know, mention the offer um, customizable trainings. Yes. Now, a little bit about that. So pretty much what we're meant to be as um, the technology center for this area is something that career techs are really big at are just customizing a training to fit exactly what that business or individual needs. And so that's why I love how we have um, the network of all of us together. So say if someone comes to us and they need um they want to have, say, just a professional um, or interviewing mm-hmm. any sort of, um, oh, yeah. let's see, customer service. Yes. Yeah. Then we can reach out. If we don't already have a pro, like a, a, a training for mm-hmm. that, we can reach out across the state and maybe someone else will share theirs with us. Yes. And then we could provide that training yep. and we can do it at your location. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's a lot of what oil and gas has mm-hmm. gone towards, you know. With ISNet and all the safety requirements, OSHA, mm-hmm. we just, whenever there's a new standard comes up, we're the ones that can figure out what exactly they need trained on, and yeah. then we'll put implement the training. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's a lot of also the short-term classes, like right. what Tammy's doing. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And we had someone that really needed an Excel class. Well, we didn't have it on the schedule or um, an instructor, but we found one, yeah. and then we put the class together, and now they've taken the class. Yeah. So that's where I'll, we drive a lot of our workshops. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And same with the business area. They have workshops like coming up is um, Inspiration Overload. Yes, I've heard a lot about this. Yes. So this is exciting. And this is kind of an example of the workshops that the business the business advisors um, will hold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is a new one that Bobby has really worked on putting together with. Um, and it's going to be all through February, okay. every Tuesday evening. And so she's pulled in four um, entrepreneurs that are going to come and cover different topics each on their um whenever they are the um, speaker mm-hmm. for the evening. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like Harley Rhodes is the owner of Dancing Cactus Designs. Yes. And so he's going to speak about first impressions. Mm-hmm. And then Chelsea Day and Courtney Adams um, are going to talk about influence plus, plus brand building. Yes. And then Kim A. Caldwell, she's new to town. You yes, probably she is. you heard of her. She's pretty awesome. I'd love to have her on the podcast yes, sometime. Yes, she would be awesome <laughs> at that. So um, she's going to talk about money grows on trees plus core values. Okay. And then Chris Castor, um, he owns Chris C- Castor Fine Art and Multimedia, and he's going to talk about relationships and creativity. That's awesome. And so that's going to be um, all of February, and you can um, – any of the stuff I'm talking about will be on our website or okay. social media. Okay. And um, we have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if you follow us there, you'll be able to keep up with all the Everything. latest yes. stuff going on. And they've got some really good video um, kind of promotions. Yes. Each, for, each yeah. speaker, they've got a, a little um, intro video to kind of right. let you get a glimpse of what it's going to be about. So. And we'll try to get this. I know it's... Uh, timing, but we'll try to get this podcast out the first week of February. So, awesome. you know, people will know about this for the rest of February. Yes. And uh, so that that's excellent. We're, we're excited. All of those um, professionals that you mentioned, they've got 
something individual to add but then Mm -hmm. all together there's kind of a common thread so i love that you have workshops like this along with your um you know the shorter night classes or Mm -hmm. you know individual classes as well as your full-time program so that's that's really neat and you know we kind of touched on this um a couple of weeks ago you and i did but why do you feel like it's important for businesses and you know specifically high plains tech center you Mm -hmm. mentioned you've got instagram you've got facebook and twitter and of course a great website why do you think it's important to have those things in 2020 well um for sure with social media now that's so awesome to have because you know it's it's such a quick and easy and um, very inexpensive way for people to just yeah. see what's happening because, mm-hmm. um, you know, we're constantly wanting to just know what's going on right now. Oh, yeah. Um, and so I feel like with High Plains, there's still, you know, there's been this term that we're the best kept secret. Mm-hmm. So we're just continually trying to work on yeah. breaking that and not mm-hmm. being a secret anymore. Yeah. So as much as we can get out there, you know, what we're doing, mm-hmm. and this is the qu- high quality um, training and workshops and um, programs. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like we just definitely have to continue to market and let mm-hmm. the people know and um, continue to grow yeah. how many people we're be able to impact in businesses and oh, then students. Mm-hmm. Um, let the secret out. Yes. It's <laughs> not the best kept secret anymore. Yeah. So. Well, and that's, uh, that's why I love that you're a huge part of, uh, you know, the marketing of that facility because it's not just a facility, obviously it's an educational platform and training platform and uh, a really a, um, kind of icon in Northwest Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. I feel like most people, uh, you know, know about it. They don't know everything that, um, yeah, that you do, Mm -hmm. but it's, I'm happy that you're, you're headed in that direction where we're going to let the secret out most definitely. Um, what are a few exciting events you've got planned for 2020? Okay. So in 2020, we're already, um, got lots of stuff planned. So the inspiration overload in February and then our short term classes, we have a whole bunch starting, um, here pretty soon, okay. like next week. So. <laughs> but That's you, all right. You always stay on watching for those because, yes. you know, those kind of just pop up every month. Different ones will just, you know, yeah. and we can quickly put together workshops. And that's another thing. If anyone out there um, is interested in teaching, oh. um, if they just have a skill set that they, they would like to share, mm-hmm. um, we just did a Google Docs class and then like the Excel and the mm-hmm. PowerPoint. You know, if you just have this, um, we've had cabinet, mm-hmm. the Let's see, um, cupcake oh. decorating, all, a lot of holiday ones. So if you have a, um, a I'd gift be all you'd about like that. to share, <laughs> that we're always looking for instructors for those. That's, um, neat. That's neat. And then what were we talking about? So, uh, no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. So we've got also got, I mean, I, I oh, think one the of the events. biggest events of the yes, year. Yes. Um, I mean, since I moved to Woodward a couple of years ago, I've always tried to make it to this this big um, event that you mm-hmm. have. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay. So this year, um, this is going to be our fourth annual, and it's called the HPTC Connection Speaker Series. Okay. So we just have it annually, mm-hmm. and we started um, with four our first ago, speaker yeah. Yeah, yeah, four years ago. And our first speaker um, was Jill Donovan with Rustic Cuff, and mm-hmm. um, she's the creator of Rustic Cuff. And so... We started this with the when I was in the business and entrepreneurial position with the um, idea to just bring a high caliber quality speaker Mm -hmm. that you would normally have to drive to a metro area to listen to and pay quite a bit of money, probably Mm -hmm. um, to inspire and motivate, you know, business business owners and just all of our community in um, northwest Oklahoma Mm -hmm. um, to just motivate and inspire them and Mm -hmm. help, you know, gleam some hope for them yeah and so um and but really anyone will enjoy listening to them so far yes but um so Jill Donovan was the first year um and then we had uh let's see the next year we had Cindy Kane yes um also known as Hyacinth and she's Reed Drummond's um best friend and then a buyer for the mercantile Mm -hmm. so her story was really interesting and then Last year was Stan Clark with mm-hmm. Eskimo Joe's. That was excellent. Yes, he was great. I, They've all been amazing. They really, I've been to two of the three, and it's definitely one of my highlights of each year. And yes. so I'm happy that you have, were you one, kind of one of the, I know one of the main people that established this event? Yeah, okay. Dwight, you know, it was his vision. Right. And then I got to help implement it. Yeah. Um, and so it's just, it's taken off, and there's a lot of 
lot of marketing for yes. that to get people to just kind of come and see what it's all about. And and also for men to under you know to know it's not just for women. Just right. be, that's why I wanted Stan, you know, yes. to get in there and yeah. have a a male. Um, and it's usually just an hour. I think mm-hmm. I'm going to actually make it a little bit longer because okay. so many requested. Oh yeah. On our feedback, the surveys, um, they wouldn't mind a little longer. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably start, you know, about 15 to 30 minutes earlier because yes. we like to have Q&A at the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the last year we pulled in the Main Street um, businesses, and this was really fun, where um, just free of charge they could come set up a table to mm-hmm. kind of let people know what they have inside their store, yeah. just a little taste, mm-hmm. and then hopefully intrigue them to want to go on Main Street and go into their store. So yeah. I think we'll probably do that again this year if if they would like to do that. Um, And then I'm working on Jill Donovan to come back um, for this year. And so coordinating with her assistants and um, all of that right now, and hopefully April or May we'll have her come back. Excellent. And I I picture that this one would be, you know, sold out. Oh, yeah. Um, I think 180 is how many I had last year. Wow. So each year it's growing, but we can hold 330 in the seminar center, yeah so, so let's I'd get it packed yeah pack it. so yes. <laughs> that's awesome well I mean I, I think we're gonna have to have you on uh, later this year as well yeah. so you can talk about more for the fall and winter as even well. if we had something where we could have the speaker here with us that oh would be awesome. that would be awesome yeah. great idea <laughs> <laughs> putting the pressure on yeah. <laughs> I love it well I guess lastly I always like to ask why do you enjoy doing business in northwest Oklahoma you moved back here mm-hmm. um, you're still here you're yes. enjoying it um, why do you love doing business here yeah there are just something about northwest Oklahoma the people the um, camaraderie and the I feel like among the professionals, you know, like you, for instance, and um, Allie, <laughs> that I feel like we all are do work together towards a common goal, good goal right. of just bettering Northwest Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like there's a lot of vibrant young professionals yeah. and we're able to learn from and be mentored by some of our, you know, um, just amazing pe- business people here oh. in Woodward. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like Woodward Young Professionals and where we have speakers come in, you know, Bruce Benbrook mm-hmm. and kind of share everything and like how things got started, Kids Inc. and all those and just inspiring us to kind of, you know, put in the hard work to keep those kind of things going and add add some, you know. Make other. our own mark. Yeah. Yes. And they, and you know, they pave the way. And mm-hmm. um, I'm so excited to have them as mentors. That's what we kind of mentioned. There's just so many people that want to give great advice mm-hmm. um, and, and great ways to you know, and continue to grow and and improve Woodward, but um, but there's definitely a lot of young professionals yes, out there that it is are exciting. Yeah, it is. It's it's but, it's very exciting. So, well, thank you so much for being you. here. We covered a lot of fantastic information. If you have any questions, you can reach Katie Shirley. They're at the High Plains Tech Center. Of course, they're all on social media and they've mm-hmm. got a website as well. We'll be sure to link that. But thank you so much for being here, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.